there's snow on the ground, the temperatures have gotten colder, winter is here, now what? Hello again and welcome back to another episode of Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorer Podcast. I am your host Jason. It seems winter is here for most of us in central and northern Wisconsin. Some of the southern parts of the state have a little bit of snow, but not quite as much as what we have here in central and not nearly as much as the northern part of the state has. Some are saying that uh, winter seems to have come a little bit early. Others that I've heard talk say they've seen snow earlier than this. Both which I kind of agree with. I will say it does seem a little bit early to be dealing with this much snow. But at the same time, it does kind of add to that holiday season and and adds a little bit more uh, magic to the season. Yeah. You know, there's nothing better than going through the holiday season with a little bit of snow on the ground. And many times we've all dreamt of a white Christmas only to be disappointed, maybe with warmer temperatures and, you know, you can still see the grass. So this year will definitely be a white Christmas for most, if not all, of Wisconsin. And you know what? The big guy is not going to have any trouble getting around in his sleigh this year. Now, maybe you were caught off guard a little bit by the amount of snow we received. I know I was. I mean, I am used to seeing, you know, the dusting of snow maybe an inch or two on the ground before the end of the year. I'm usually pretty prepared if it does snow early. I've got the snowblower ready to go. I've got the shovels all ready to go. I've got my, you know, winter gear put in the car just in case, the, you know, the roads start getting bad. But at the same time, I really wasn't prepared to have this much snow so early. So the question remains, now what? You know, usually this time of year, you're gearing up for the holidays, you're you're getting your Christmas trees, you're, you know, getting presents and, and going to holiday parades and just doing all that kind of stuff. And there's really no call to get out and, you know, do anything in the snow because typically there isn't a whole lot of snow to do anything with. But now that we have this great base layer of snow and the temps are cold enough that it's not going anywhere, this snow is here to stay, the question remains, what can we do now that we got this much snow so early? The quick answer is be patient. There are a few activities that you can start doing right away, and others you're just going to have to wait and give a little bit more time before you can start to enjoy. So today on the podcast, we're going to talk about some of those things you can do and some of those things that you're just going to have to wait for just to give you an idea of what you can do to get going in your winter fun. Now, one of the earliest things you can do is start snowshoeing. I mean, really the only real requirement is snow, and guess what? We've got snow. So snowshoeing is a great way to get out and really enjoy the full beauty of that early winter. You know, I've seen a lot of pictures on Facebook and Instagram where the snow is really heavy on the pine trees, and there's just no better way to get out there and see this kind of beauty than strapping on a set of snowshoes and heading out and doing it. And... I really fell in love with snowshoeing last year. We went out one time last year with the family and really enjoyed it. And I know it's on my Christmas list. So I'm hoping that Santa brings me a nice pair of snowshoes this year so that I can get out more and enjoy it and get on more trails this year. So snowshoeing is a great way to take advantage of this early snowfall. Now, whether you're hiking your own woods or trying a new trail, strapping on a pair of snowshoes is just such a great way to get an early start on that outdoor winter fun. Now, some areas, they do have designated trails. Now, you might have to wait a little bit to get on some of those because either they'll groom them or they'll have volunteers go out and and blaze those early trails for you. So if you're going to go to some place like a state park or a county park that offers snowshoe trails, make sure you call ahead to make sure that they are ready for you to go. But most of these are ready, and there's always opportunities to go on some public land and get out there and do some snowshoeing. Now, another activity that follows in this area would be cross-country skiing. Now, again, this depends on where you like to do this. It may or may not be ready for skiing. If you go out and blaze your own trails, then by all means, get out there and start enjoying it. But if you're one who likes groomed trails that are offered at some county and state parks, 
you may have to wait just a bit before heading out. So again, if you're going to go to one of those places, you know, you can do a quick internet search and usually they're, they're pretty good about posting online, whether or not they're open or not. Otherwise call ahead and make sure the trails are ready before you head out. Now, speaking of skiing, if you're a downhill skier or snowboarder, then you're in luck. Most ski hills have been open now for, you know, pretty much a few weeks, generally a couple weeks before Thanksgiving, the ones around here open up, and mostly because they make their own snow and have a pretty solid base already. So any of this recent snowfall that we had really only helps open up more runs that may have been lacking in that snow department. So if you're one of those ones who likes to hop on the little lift chair and and head down the slopes, you're in luck because so far it's been a great year to get out and do some downhill skiing. So get your lift tickets and head to the top of the hill because downhill skiing is ready for you to hit the slopes. Now, some of these other things I'm going to talk about, you're going to need a little bit of patience from man and mother nature. If you're into power sports and snowmobiling, I'm sure you're just itching to hit the trails and start logging some miles, especially since we've gotten so much snow here in central and northern Wisconsin. I know if you live in the northern parts of the state, close to the UP, then some of you may have been out already. I know some of my friends have trailered their sleds already up there and have logged miles already. So the hunting season has prohibited them from all day rides, but they've already gotten a few hours at least logged already this year because of the amount of snow that they've gotten up there. Now, here in central Wisconsin, snowmobile season has not started yet. It's close. I've seen a few trails that have been groomed, but that process is just starting and the trails are not open yet. Now, depending on when you're listening to this podcast, they might, but there's still a little bit of wait time before you can get out there and ride those sleds. Be patient. The best thing to do is check with your local clubs. If you don't belong to a local club, you should probably get out and try to join one. Go online and check and see where the trails are ready and where you need to wait. You know, in the meantime, it's a great time to make sure your sled and all your gear is in tip top shape. And if, like I said, if you haven't joined a club, it'd be a great time for you to join a club. But, you know, get that gear ready, get your Get your trail passes and all that stuff that you need to go so that when they do open, you are not waiting around. You're hopping on and you're heading out on the trails. If you've been itching to get on the ice and drop some lines, all I can say is be careful. Now, kind of in mid-November, we had some really cold temperatures and the waterways froze. And I noticed there was guys out there fishing and and starting to enjoy the ice fishing season. But then we had a warm up and all that ice went away and then it cooled back down again. And then we got snow and I see there's guys back out there again. So I just want to say, please be careful about this because sometimes when you get that heavy layer of snow on there, the freezing of the water isn't as good as if it was no snow and just cold temperatures. And I know all you people who ice fish, you know this, but just be careful because the thickness might not be safe enough for you to maybe take your ATVs and things out there yet. So, because right now what I'm noticing is just guys out there with maybe like a little portable canvas shack just to keep the wind off of them, or they're just out there sitting on buckets fishing. So be careful, be patient. That's where it goes with that. What I said beginning, just be patient. It is cold and it's going to get colder here in the next week. So the ice is going to get there and I know you're just itching to get out there and do some ice fishing. So just be safe and be smart and just make sure you check the ice before you drop in that first line. When winter gets here, I always say we have two choices here in Wisconsin. The first choice is we can complain all winter about how cold it is, how much snow we have to shovel, how it's so hard to get outside and there's just, this is the worst time of year and you just, you complain until spring gets here. Now your other option is to embrace and enjoy it. And I know sometimes that is tough because when we get them long winter seasons, it can be tough to get out and enjoy it. But I'm kind of speaking from my own personal 
experience. For a long time, I was in that first category. I didn't really care for winter. They're just I didn't really do a whole lot in the winter time. I just assumed sit inside and stay warm and complain about it and do as little as I could outside. But having moved now into that second category, I can tell you it just makes for a much better life. If you can just embrace that winter and find things that you're going to enjoy. Now, I'm not saying you've got to go snowshoeing, you've got to go downhill skiing or sledding or or snowmobiling, or whatever it is. But there are things that you can go out and do and enjoy. Maybe it's feeding the birds. Maybe it's just taking your dog for a walk in the woods every day. Whatever it is, find that one thing that you really enjoy about winter that you can do all winter long that makes you look forward to the winter season. I know right now that I'm itching to get out and start enjoying everything winter has to offer. But I'm being patient. I'm checking the Travel Wisconsin Snow Report, which again, they don't endorse me and I don't have any affiliation with them. They have a very good website that gives you snow reports for snowmobile trails, for skiing, and and all the things that you want to do outside in the wintertime. They have a really good report on where the snow is so that you can be prepared to go and enjoy it. It's a really good resource to check before you head out or before you make any plans. I encourage you to embrace winter this year. Find something you love to do. I know, again, I, I'm i looking so forward to getting some snowshoes and getting out and doing some snowshoeing. My kids are trying to talk me into trying some downhill skiing. And uh, that I'm, I, I don't, don't, don't know about that, but that might be something that I might be able to work in for them that they can try. But it makes me happy that they're excited about trying something new this winter. That all started with our snowshoeing adventure last year. So I'm trying to find things that'll get them excited that we can all try and really get into this year and really make that effort to try something new. Winter is here. It's just going to keep getting better and better. Get ready to have some fun this winter as you head out to be one of Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorers. Thanks for joining me again. I'm your host, Jason, and I'll talk to you again next week. Thanks for listening to the Wisconsin's Outdoor Explorer podcast. For more great information about being an outdoor explorer, visit our website at wisconsinsoutdoorexplorer.com. Be sure to check out the blog page and follow us on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to this podcast wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.